Okay, so for the sake of explaining corners, I removed the edges from this uh, from this cube. I just replaced them with black pieces. And the reason for that is because um, since I think everyone's really used to doing edges first, so I don't want them to be a uh, distraction. I want you to focus mainly just on the corners and uh, not get distracted by like one by one by one by two blocks and that kind of thing, because that, that's really easy to happen even for me. So let's uh, get started. I'll show you all of the corner situations. Um, since this method focuses on doing the corners first and the edges l later, um, we don't care about the edges either way. So that's uh, that's the main reason I took the edges out. Okay, so the first two situations involve the ability to match one and only one corner to the F2L. Always make a quick check to make sure that none of the other ones match. So when we have the situation, we want to place that corner in the front left of the top, okay? And then depending which way we want to rotate these three pieces, it'll be either the clockwise corner cycle or the counterclockwise corner cycle. Here's how you tell the difference. Anytime you have headlights in the back, it's going to be clockwise. Anytime you have headlights on the side, it'll be counterclockwise. So in this case, it's clockwise, and here's the algorithm. Small L prime, U, R prime, D2, R, U prime, R prime, D2, R2, X prime. So here's the counterclockwise version, where we have the matching corner in the right place, and the headlights on the side this time. And here it is. X, R2, D2, R, U, R prime, D2, R, U prime, R, X prime. Okay, this final situation involves the inability to match one and only one corner. For example, when you match this one, the opposite one's always also matched. If we try to match this one, the opposite one's still matched. So anytime you have two opposite corners matching, you're going to need this final case. The reason is that you can't apply a three cycle like the clockwise or counterclockwise corner switcher to two edges and have it solve. So you can perform this algorithm from any angle, okay? And here it is. X, U, R prime, U prime, L, U, R, U prime, small R2, U prime, R, U, L, U, R prime, U prime. Okay, so the edge switchers, the first two edge switchers involve the ability to make a solid color on one side. So that's whenever you have one of the edges completed uh, relative to the corners. So that'll, that'll happen most often. So you want to take the solid color and put it in the back. Then, uh, judging by which way these need to go, these three edges in the front, We'll do either the clockwise or counterclockwise edge cycle to complete the cube. So how do you tell the difference? Well, here's what I do. I just look at whatever color is in front, and then I decide, does it need to go left or does it need to go right? Well, it needs to go to the left, red towards the red center. Since it needs to go to the left, that makes a clockwise circle on the top of the cube. So I know I need to use the clockwise edge switcher. And here it is. R2, U, R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, U prime, R prime, U, R prime. There we 
There we go. All right, so here's the counterclockwise version, and it's actually just an inverse of the clockwise version, so it's easy to learn once you know the clockwise version, that is. Same thing, you want to make a solid color on the back, and then if this is going to the right, making a counterclockwise circle on the top, you know you got to do a counterclockwise edge cycle. So here it is. R, U prime, R, U, R, U, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, R2. Okay, the next two are also very easily recognizable. Um, these involve having none of the solid blocks on any of the sides, so you'll notice that we don't have any solid blocks all of the edges need to go somewhere. This is the H permutation and this is very easily recognizable by the fact that all of the edges need to go directly opposite to where they actually are. So we have green on the blue side, green should go to the green side, blue on the green side, uh, red on the orange side, and orange on the red side. So basically we're just trying to switch them around in like a cross, a cross shape. Here's the algorithm for it. M2, U, M2, U2, M2, U, M2. Now this algorithm is very, very easy to learn because it's basically the same thing over and over again. However, this algorithm has also given a lot of people a lot of trouble because it's kind of hard to perform. So some people like to do, instead of M turns, because some people think M turns are clumsy, some people like to do like R2 prime R2. or L2, L2 prime or all kinds of different stuff. There's a, like many, many, many variations of this exact same algorithm just like with how you do the turns. So I'll leave that to you to experiment and figure it out. So here it is at speed. Okay, just one more. This is the Z permutation, or if you're living in the States, the Z permutation. So we're looking at these two pieces, and we'll say these two pieces need to switch, and around the corner here, these two pieces need to switch. So there's a few different ways to actually do this algorithm. There are many, many variations of this algorithm. There's a couple that use slice moves, like H permutation, where you do the M2 thing, and there's a couple that are like really long but they are 2 gen. I prefer the 2 gen. I'm going to show you both ways. The one with the slice moves is a little bit more awkward but the algorithm is much shorter. The one with the 2 gen is a lot faster but it's a lot longer as well so they equal out to be about the same amount of time to perform. Here's the slice move one. M2 U M2 U, M prime, U2, M2, U2, M prime, U2. Now I can't actually show you this algorithm fast because I don't know how to do it fast. Okay, sorry about that, I just don't practice it fast. And I don't want you guys to think that it's really slow just based on how I perform it. Here's the one that I do, if you don't like that one. U, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R, U, R, U prime, R prime, U, R, U, R2, U prime, R prime, U. Now, a lot of you are thinking, holy shit, that's a really long algorithm. Yes, it is, it's 17 moves long. But let me show you what that 17 moves equals out to at speed.